Hey, welcome back to the boat shop again. Here we are sitting in front of the gasser. Today we're gonna to talk fast, we have a lot to cover. We're gonna talk about sealing the interior of the boat. If there's anything I've been asked about a lot, it is sealing the interior of the boat. And we're gonna talk about why in just a second. Then we're gonna talk about how to do it, how to clean up afterwards, and how to make your boat light and well sealed and last a very long time. Why? Because I'm lazy. I don't wanna build another boat. I want it to last a long time. Here's what we're gonna need. You ready? First of all, Dramamine. I don't have any for you. Get your own. Stop the video now, just go get it. Come back when you're ready. Got it? Okay. Why? <laughs> Somebody told me they get really dizzy when I use the YouTube cam the uh, GoPro camera up here on my head uh, to make these videos. So take a little Dramamine, you'll be ready. It's got nothing to do with sealing the interior of the boat. It's got everything to do with not puking. Okay, here's what we need. Uh, cup worthwhile cup, one that we can pour chemicals in, okay? Uh, we also need alcohol. What we're gonna do is we're gonna mix some epoxy here and then we're gonna thin it. And I'm gonna show you how we do that in a minute with alcohol. Alcohol. Hang on. Don't try this at home. Cheers. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> here we go. Don't do that, really. Serious, <laughs> that stuff will kill you. Okay, West system, slow. I work slow. Don't get fast. Epoxy. Stop right now, wait. Go put this on two times speed. Move it fast, this is gonna be boring. Okay, we wanna mix up our epoxy. And we're gonna use a full batch. And we're gonna use it all. And then we're gonna take most of it back out of the boat. It's heavy. Why should I wanna put all this in the boat? I just wanna seal the wood. We're gonna mix. I told you it's gonna be boring. Uh, what do you wanna talk about? Eliminator, uh, we should do a tour here one of these days. I can't right now, I got fresh epoxy going. Here's the reason we try to do a nice job with this. Look how smooth and groovy that is in here. It's not hard. Uh, yeah, always do your boat tour before you mix your epoxy. Here's why, and here's what I meant about lasting a long time. Do you see, can you see that dark area right there? You know what that means? I didn't do a good job here and a little bit of moisture has seeped into the hole. Here, let's do this. We're gonna work fast, we'll be all right. Uh, okay, bottom side. This boat, beautiful feature of this boat is this the way the original boat was done. That makes it legal in RCU where the bottom was just all normal wood. Uh, these surfaces were aluminum. Uh, so you can see how nice that looks. And I can look at this thing at any time as it ages and I can see that uh, I got a little bit of water intrusion here. What's that do? First of all, it rots the wood. Second of all, it makes your boat heavy. If you get a bunch of it in here, it will change the weight of your boat, ruin your boat ride. Maybe it'll fix your boat ride. I don't know. Uh, back here, see all that intruding? Okay, no bueno. Scott did a bad job. Actually, the tailpipe kind of rattled around in there and beat some holes in it so I need to reseal that which I will do. You can see a tiny little spot here. I didn't do a great job and there's a little bit seeping in right there. I hope you can see that. Okay now we got epoxy setting up so we got to go. Maybe someday we'll do a real close look at this boat. Uh, this thing is it's, it's so fast it's not fair and, and there's no challenge so uh, that's why I've kind of switched to different boats. Woo what a bullet. Uh, this stuff is probably blowing off. Here we go. I think we've mixed it pretty good. And we're going to start adding some alcohol. Okay. We need to... Uh, oh. Just hang on. <clears throat> okay. We're going to add a little uh, alcohol here. Actually, we're going to add quite a bit. And we're going to start... You might even see that it kind of looks a little milky for a second. That's while all the uh, 
little epoxy atoms are uh, screaming their last gasps of life as they're dying of alcohol poisoning. <laughs> I hope that doesn't happen to me. Okay, and we're going to look at it. Ah, uh, see, my drips are a little bit lazy. I want this just about like water. Okay, I'm not worried about the strength. You know, anytime you uh, mix any chemicals in, alcohol, acetone, whatever, or any fillers you put in, you're, you're damaging the strength of the, uh, the epoxy. Even though I know the alcohol is all supposed to dissipate, but like I said, all your little, uh, your little atom buddies are dead and uh, they don't hold hands near as well when they're dead. So uh, you will damage the strength of it a little bit. And as I say, I don't care. I just want to seal the wood. Look at that, like water. What's that gonna do? That's gonna soak in fast. All right, that's what I want. Okay, here we go, ready to boogie. And we are gonna work kind of fast. And it's gonna bore you half to tears. Okay, check out these cool paper towels. These are tough and they don't leave a lot of uh, uh, fibers and stuff behind. Made by a company called Wipeall. I get them at Amazon. Okay, much better than regular paper towels. First of all, they're a lot stronger and you're gonna see why that matters here in a minute. And they don't leave a whole bunch of crud behind in your epoxy, which is what we're shooting for. Because what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use this stuff that we've mixed up like water and we're gonna slather it in here like a crazy fool and just let it run down and it's gonna get everywhere and there's gonna be tons of it in there. And then we're gonna go back in with these paper towels and we're gonna wipe it all out. We're gonna wipe it, we're gonna wipe it all out. Uh, I've already sealed this area up here. No big puddles of epoxy, unnecessary. I slathered really heavy and hard under here. These are all dried up because I used these. Okay, I buy big giant boxes full of different size brushes. They come too long, they're awful. I clip them, I make them a little shorter, a little easier to work with. The bristles kind of go where I want them to go in that way. Uh, a bunch of these halfers and then a bunch of, I think, three-eighths or whatever these guys are. But here we're laying the stuff and we're laying it heavy. We're pretty much going to use these halfers. And up here you can see, you grab your uh, needle nose and you bend it to whatever shape you need. And I work under here, real hot and heavy. Let it run everywhere. Then I go in and I check my work. I want to see if I've actually gotten it everywhere, right? Why? Because I want it sealed, man. Don't do a good job. It's going to look like that. And I'm going to pick on you because that's bad. I hope nobody ever sees that. Burn this video when you're done with it. Okay, we've mixed. We've got stuff here. And I'm, I, you know, people ask about this. That's why I'm doing the video. If you know this, just shut it off. Move on. I got lots of other videos that maybe will teach you some stuff. And we're just going to go in and we're going to go crazy. My focus is going to be up on this upper section because uh, epoxy runs downhill, so it'll, it'll move down. See the uh, blue tape? That blue vinyl tape is put on the areas that I don't want epoxy because these are actually the outline of the area that I will use to glue when I lay the decks on. Okay, do you remember in one of my other videos I told you we just do the perimeter only of your area? This area I'm going to seal now and I will not put fresh epoxy on it when I lay the decks on because I don't want the decks sticking all over the place and giving you this stupid wavy looking, this wavy looking look, right? Okay, I gotta keep moving, this stuff's drying. You guys are talking too much. Um, I'm not ready to do the exterior yet. Harmless. Hot and heavy, up underneath. Everywhere you gotta get underneath. Let it run down. Don't care about the rest, we're gonna deal with that here in a minute. Up under here, lay it on. Don't be bashful. Okay, letting her rip. I'm gonna get that out of my way. Did you go to two speed yet? It's too bad it doesn't have like a 12 speed. I'll just work this one area here and then we'll show you just exactly how it's finished up. I'm gonna do it here, I'm gonna lay it on heavy here because that'll soak really well into that and that'll keep this uh, little structural piece here strong because water won't soak into it. It's not gonna turn to mush, it's not gonna look dumb. Uh, and we do this all the way through, okay? 
but you're kind of going to work a section at a time because we don't want the epoxy to blow off a whole bunch and become real goopy. And where's a straight one? Right here. And be hard to get out of there. Now we're just going to lay it on these sides here. I know I'm boring you. Hang in there. I'm going to finish working this area here. And then on the inside, I know you can't see a darn thing. And you're probably already wishing that you'd actually listened to me and picked up that drama mean I was telling you about. And we're really letting it run down here. Because if nothing else, if I didn't do a great job of assembling the hull, and boy, it's impossible to hit all the nooks and crannies, we're letting this run in there so hard that it'll run down into the little cracks and crannies on the bottom here and all your little stringers. Uh, it'll seal all that really well because you might as well have epoxy run into it now so the water doesn't run into it later. And it'll last and look wonderful. Uh, I'm going to show you in just a minute what we use on the exposed interior section here uh, to make it look that super beautiful and smooth look like you saw inside the eliminator because when we're done here this will actually look a little bit rough when it sets up okay and I don't care uh, certainly I don't care inside the sponsons uh, don't really care over here on the sides of the interior hull decks will be here the only spot you're gonna see is in here so this has to look really cool uh, why is that important? So that it intimidates those you're racing against. So don't tell them, that's my secret. I really suck at racing boats, but I'm pretty good at the intimidation part, and uh, that helps. If you can beat them before the clock ever strikes zero, you got a shot at actually winning a race once in a while. Oh, remember I told you we're going to do this part here too. We're going to lay it on there heavy. Because this part, we do not want it to hook itself to the upper deck. All right, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to do this all throughout here. But for your benefit right now, we're just going to go crazy with this. And I want all this stuff back out of here. There's a big old puddle in the bottom. I'm cleaning it out. I'm wiping the sides. Because you don't need it. I actually... Uh, this is how weird anal I am. I actually did an experiment one time where I took a bunch of equally sized pieces of, of eighth inch uh, ply and I used a couple of different epoxies on them and I sealed them in just the way I'm showing you now. And on two I did sealed them once. I used West System on one, G-Flex on another, and on uh, two others I did a second coat. I did this wiping out process and then I did a second coat. And then I uh, hung them at an equal depth in a little, you know, a cup of water. And I left them there and I was very sure that the next day when I came out, I was so excited. Woke up early, came out, that's how I am. <laughs> came out, took a look at it and I was just sure they were gonna be uh, all water soaked. I, I just knew in my heart that the ones that I did one coat on were gonna be uh, terrible, and the ones I did two coat on would be uh, not good, but uh, they'd be better. And uh, after one day, uh, none of them had any water intrusion into them. And I was highly impressed with myself, and so I waited another day. There was no water intrusion on day two. By about the third day of constant immersion, there was just a little bit of water kind of starting to soak into the edges. And in fairness, the ones I did one coat on took water first. But it was ever so slight and after constant immersion. So, huge gobs of epoxy on here aren't going to save your butt unless you're really lazy and you leave your the hole full of water all the time. Okay? Which would be really foolish. All right, so I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna do it through all this and you're not gonna to have to watch all that, but I soaked out the vast majority of it. There is no puddles left in here, no standing epoxy anywhere. I let it soak fairly quickly, like a water solution into the wood, 
wipe out the rest. Doesn't need to be there. Okay, that's how you're gonna do it. Now I told you I was gonna tell you how not to make it all kind of fuzzy and rough when you're done. In here, we're gonna do this same process. And then we're just gonna let it set completely like the rest of it. And you're gonna follow it up. You need to get some of this if you don't have it already. Sorry, I know you're getting dizzy. I warned you. Get you some of these uh, Scotch-Brite 3M pads. This one, okay? And this is just fantastic. I do this on the entire hull. Right? This is how I, I uh, clean up my primer before I paint it. And after this is all set, you're just gonna come in here and just scuff like crazy with this. Okay, clean it out really good when you're done. And then when you clear the rest of your hull, just honk your clear down inside here too. And I get pretty aggressive with that. I really want this area sealed good because you're gonna have oils and all kinds of nasty stuff in here. So seal it really, really well in here, okay? All right, you've got a whole bunch of these. You mix up epoxy aggressively. Don't drink the alcohol. Slather it in. Wipe it back out. This is what you're gonna get. You're gonna scare everybody. You're probably scared right now. All right, I think that's just about it. Here's our decks. Let me show you my level of commitment, just so you know. This is so I can try to keep you guys in the center of the screen, right? I do this all for you. So for me, go down and click like, wherever it is. I always forget, I think it's over there. And then share the video, show somebody else. Everybody's asking how to seal these things. That's how you do it. Go make beautiful boats, all right? Stop watching these stupid videos.